It's quite easy to be snobbish about brands that you've never heard of at times. Especially when you're used to handling a lot of well-established, sometimes heritage brands. A new label can sometimes creep up and you, you'll see maybe an image that you're not too interested in or maybe an item of theirs that you're not quite sure of and you can decompartmentalize them into a sort of pile of maybe a bit fast fashion-y and maybe a bit high street-y, generally be a bit of a snob. I try as much as possible to be as open-minded with brands and really look into what they're offering, how they make their items, where they make their items and what the general look of them are. I buy most of my clothes pre-owned so I really want them to be made well so that they will last. So there was one brand I was made aware of the other day and I'd heard of them before and that's John Henrik which is a Swedish brand they've been around since 2008. So I'd heard of them previously, I checked out some of their stuff and I remember seeing some of the imagery online and just been a little bit turned off. And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second. But I saw a blazer of theirs I really liked. So that was on John Paul Southridge's TikTok and he had this double-breasted knitted soft shoulder blazer and it looked great on him. It looked really good. And in terms of proportions and overall look, it really piqued my interest into something I'd like to know more about, possibly own myself. So I thought I'd have a look at the brand and I thought I'd have a look at the pre-owned options and try something out for myself because again, I do feel like I was a little, a little bit snobbish when I wrote them off previously. So I thought I'd order an item of theirs. So I did a bit of search on eBay, Depop, all those sites. So I found a sort of chore safari jacket hybrid of theirs and I wanted to try it out. I wanted to compare it to a Drake's one that I've got as well, just to see the quality difference, the cuts and everything else. So I bought this for £85 secondhand. We'll go through the website in a second because I still think I had a look at the website just before, just a quick brief look. And I had a little look at the website before and yeah, there's still some like choices of theirs, which I think I get why I was turned away initially. But actually some really good pieces in there and also some really affordable pieces if you're looking to get into that kind of tailoring on a budget or if it's your first time and you just want to explore a little bit. It's a really good option. So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the jacket I got and then we'll go into the website and have a look around there as well. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I was gonna do a full unboxing, but it came in like a bin bag. Uh, didn't look, really look great, so I've opened it. I haven't had a chance to iron it or anything, but, um, or steam it, but this is the, the jacket. Initial thoughts, I uh, really like the cut. It looks like nice slim arms, nothing too skinny um, from, Ni a nice size sort of like collar, good feel to the material, it's quite lightweight and initial thoughts are good. It does have this almost a bit of a sheen to it which I'm not a big fan of, like a almost two-tony effect to it which I don't know if you can get the sunlight on it there. I'm not a particular lover of that. There's a label for those that are interested, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it was meant to be brand new and never worn so it's got the labels never know if that's completely true though because some people just tie on the label to the buttons but it does look in very good condition there's no armpit stains or any issues at all so yeah let's try it on and then we'll compare it to a drake's version i've got so this is the drake's version which is similar color a little bit different in in a few ways um but yeah let's have a look so yeah first impressions uh the buttons are nice they could that's always a good sign Material is very lightweight but sturdy. Yeah, I'm not a big lover of that, the two tone sheeniness of it, but um, it's not a deal breaker at all. Like, it's not so bad. Uh, sleeves are a good length for me. Um, I do often roll up the sleeves, so we'll try that out in a second. Personal favorite part of this is the shoulders. The shoulders are very, just cut very loosely, softly, so you get like that kind of sloping effect, which I know not everyone loves, but I do, especially when it's something casual. Um, the collar's a really good size, and the length's good. The length's good too. So there's a lot of positives to this. I think in terms of dimensions, this is actually perfect for me. The material weight is good for sort of like this kind of year, sort of spring, summer, sort of changeable seasons. Um, good size pockets. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. So let's try the roll up test. Cause this is how I would normally wear. Well, it is. So the first off, it's got a good first roll hold, which is always good. Uh, which is always nice. Just uh, that's there. That. That's good. So definitely a keeper for me. I'm really impressed with this. 
for I think it was, I think I got it for 85 pounds um, all in. Uh, I'm pretty happy to be honest because these things aren't easy to find. I will now put on the Drake's one to compare. They're obviously different jackets, obviously different brands, different price points. So, uh, but it's just worth having a look. Right, so this has been my go-to for a long time. Uh, so the first things first, I've got to say the material in this is a lot nicer, more comfortable to wear. This is more like a softer cotton. It, yeah, it's it's softer. It's just flowier. It feels feels nice. Um, it's got more of a slimmer structure to it. The shoulders are again slimmer. I don't know actually. The shoulders, I think, just because purely because of the material difference, this feels slimmer around the arms and shoulders. Uh, I haven't really checked the boat both out in the mirror so to compare. This is a lighter colour. This has got uh, flaps on the pockets and the collars are a little bit more pointy, a little bit 70s from, from what I can see. Um, both, yeah, I think, I think what you pay for here is the material. Like this has an almost like mix between cotton shirt and that sort of old chore jacket, sanferized feel. It's not that rough, but this is just super soft to touch. And that, that's what I think, you know, this is what, that's what you pay for. Uh, but generally really happy with both. And um, that's definitely a keeper. The buttons on this are also better. But uh, anyway, what we'll do now is we'll go onto John Henrik's website. We'll check out what they're offering at the moment, the prices, and yeah, let's, uh, let's jump to it. So here we are, got the John Henrik jacket on. Uh, just had a chance to look at this in the mirror after wearing the Drake's one. And actually looking at this, this is a much smarter looking, more f leaning more formal piece, if I feel from what I just looked at. Um, maybe because that's just been worn a lot, so it's bound to have just lost its edge. Uh, but this feels super smart, feels, feels very um, crisp. The colors are deep. It's good, I'm impressed. So let's, let's get into the website. Let's get into the nuts and bolts. So, as you can see here, John Henrik. I, so when I first looked at it, it this site, uh, it was some time ago. This is when I got a little bit put off because I, I think I must have seen something I was I liked. Did a bit of research and I was just a little bit put off. So for instance, so we're here in the, on the landing page. And initially there's a few, I understand why. So if you see this guy here with the bow tie, with the box it's not a look that i'm particularly fond of it's very like old school dandry very tumblr when hashtag men, menswear days are out and it, everyone was just dressing dapper rather than like crafted and nice in my opinion just my opinion um so that's and i think that's kind of what put me off there's a few patterns i didn't quite like that mixed with these really cool pieces um just weren't my to my taste so this is is this about them? So these these two might be the gents that own the the company. Uh, founded in two thousand eight in Sweden. So yeah, Swedish brand. So the the idea was to make items that are good for like southern southern France jet setting. You know, summery, good vibes, and yeah, it's got a very summer aesthetic to it affordable luxury and I think the affordability of this brand is the selling point, a huge selling point. So they skip the middlemen, skip the markups, so I guess that means they don't have any like brick and mortar stores. So they create collections every month. So this is not a sustainable brand, <laughs> put it that way. Um, responsible slow fashion, okay this is the next part. We are continuously striving to produce our clothes in an ever even fairer and environmentally friendly way. Yes, it's a challenge, but we do our best and are always trying to be open-minded. Sustainability is not about production. It's also about what kind of garments you present to the world and the people behind the clothes. We think the biggest impact of change is to move from fast fashion consumption to long-lasting products made with genuine craftsmanship. Uh, I get the sentiment that if you're making lots of different items every month, it's not the best for the planet. Um, so what do they do for it? Okay, they work with trusted and licensed producers. So hopefully that just means no, you know, um, poor work, work looks like factories, things like that. Uh, they're safe and, it, and, and people are well paid. Um, as with all friends, we keep close contacts through regular visits. 
yeah, okay, so making sure the staff are okay, it's super important. Uh, we're all about making clothes with long lasting quality and design. The least eco friendly product is the one you have to replace every other week. And, that, and that's a fair point. If you're making items that are well made material wise and they don't go out of style, then, you know, I mean, for one of these, I won't have to get a new one of these for a long time. Um, but that's to be seen. I don't know how um, we'll look at the costs of these and how they can make them with like real high quality. And okay, this is just the background of the guys. This is the background of the guys. Let's have a look at the clothes, shall we? Okay, so we've got this initial page, and immediately the photography here is infinitely better and the item they've chosen is so much better. I really like the look of this, like really soft linen uh, sort of over shirt. I feel like they've done themselves a little bit dirty with those uh, profile pictures and stuff. Like, this stuff's nice, that's, that's cool. Let's discover a world of affordable luxury men's clothes. Uh, soft cashmere sweaters, printed shirts, this is a red flag, classic chinos, jeans, and more. So this linen shirt jacket is £109, um, cheap, super cheap, uh, these linen trousers look nice, nice high, nice high waist, a bit of a drawstring to them, so if, if that's your thing, see the colours, come in some good colour choices, I mean this is the thing that's not going to make it sustainable, I won't, I'm not going to bang on about the sustainability of the brand. Um, it has a little bit of a, a bit of a bugbear for me if you bring up sustainability, uh, and then it's so not. It's like the greenwashing situation. I'm not saying that that's what's happening here with, like, say, like H and M and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's it is what it is. Nothing's fully green. Uh, but yeah, these are really nice trousers. These are cool, and for that price, it's pretty damn good. Same with this shirt as well. Looks like a nice fit. Shirt in linen, very nice for 79 pounds. Knitted polo shirt again, really nice. Like for the price, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, this sort of terry cloth um, shirt, very similar to like something from Sunspell or Oliver Brown, 42 pounds. And it's got medium sized, so super affordable, like crazy affordable. Gotta say, I like pretty much everything here. Like even the stuff I could take a leave, like this, say this brown uh, polo shirt, brown polo shirt. It's fifty nine quid. Like I think they do these camp collar shirts really well. Same as this, like cutaway collar shirt. It looks like a really nice shape. Let's see if. Got different colours. It's a good option. So I would seriously consider if I say I was looking to buy something, say from Reese, I would consider these uh, alongside that, that kind of, that kind of level. But it's a little bit more fun, a little bit more summery. I think they've got some more interesting stuff, especially if like the shorts, really cool. Over shirts, eight nine pounds. So I saw one of these, yeah, these kind of knitted over shirts at Tom Sweeney a little while ago, and you're looking at like 300 pound maybe, two to 300 pounds. So it's a huge difference if you're on a budget and you're getting something similar looks wise. Obviously quality is gonna be different no matter what. Well, not a big lover of that. Paisley, I'm a little bit allergic to Paisley. Um, linen t-shirts as well, like a knitted t-shirt for £29, very nice. This is cool, this um, white popover linen shirt. So it's got that kind of elongated uh, collar but with buttons and I guess a cuff as well, I can't get past these sizes. Yeah, like a cuff on them, so similar to what brands like, you know, uh, Anglo-Italian are 
pudding out, like a very similar shape and for a very affordable price. So this is, we've gone to 60 or 300, so they've got a ton of itinerary. I don't think we're gonna be able to get through it all, or maybe. Oh, that's it, there's some bastard colour those are. T-shirt fits look really nice. Like a nice neck, neck, neckline to them, they're not too like high, good for the summer. See, it's like a blue jacket, it's like 109 pounds. So I bought it for 85 pounds and I, I was keen to get it because I knew it was a, like ideally in an ideal, ideal world, I'd be looking for something around 50 or 60, but I wanted to make the video and I actually quite like this, so I thought I'd pull the trigger. Um, but yeah, you can, you can get them pretty much new, brand new from the store for um, not much more. Again, another really nice looking t-shirt. Here we go, to the tailoring as well. Linen jacket. It's nice, 129 pounds. I guess this is the trousers to it. Suits are really, really good cut to them as well. Like nice off shoulders. Maybe that's a little bit more with the lapels, but I mean, pretty good. Jeans quite nice, high waisted. Seventy nine pounds. Not sure about this. Um. Yeah, this, this has been a bit of a thing I've noticed on some of theirs, because they do do these very sloping shoulders, very soft like sloping shoulders. Say like here, they've got that, but they've got some, some roping, some padding on, on the sleeve here. It makes it look a bit weird to me, like overtly too, too broad, and then the body of it suffers here. So there's like too much torso, a little bit too much shoulder, and maybe even the sleeves being a little bit too, uh, too wide. Just looks off to me. These are nice, these two polos. Yeah, same thing here. Just looks like it's really ill fitting to me, this one, this cashmere blazer. Okay, let's focus on the tailoring because we've seen a lot of that stuff, and I'm, I'm, I'm ultimately very, very impressed. Uh, where's, where's suits? Where's tailoring? Shirts, have you seen blazers? Oh, so they don't tend to send the suits together. Is that right? Okay, I'm not a big lover of the patterns, the lighter coloured patterns. Um, it tends to be, because I don't live in a really hot country, summer country, my visual, I'm not just not used to it visually. So sometimes I lean to the more darker colours, the more simple sort of patterns. Uh, I get it's a preference thing. This is nice, this um, wool cashmere jacket, there's a bit more of a nicer fit to it. Again, there's, there's not much in terms of um, roping on the shoulder. Same here. Knitted blazer, I'm a, I'm a bit partial to a knitted blazer, this is quite cool. It's got an interesting peak lapel to it. I like that, £199. Then we've got to the blue knitted double, I think this might be the one I referenced with the Manfred Stay wearing, and um, on him it looks super tight. I know it's a knitted blazer, um, but this, Horse, it looks too tight for my my taste, but that might just be because it's on the bot on this on this guy. I don't know if it's the right size. Um, it looks short as well. Um, looks a bit short. Maybe maybe it's just the wrong size for that model. 
Okay, for that's everything. So I mean, it's, it's a bit hit and miss for me. I like the simple stuff, the knitted stuff. Um, let's see the single breasted one. Yeah, it looks a little bit short for me, but again, I don't know if it's because of the model. So model six foot. Hmm. Bandanas, is there one with, I don't like a little neck bandana, bandana. I quite like, I do quite like these. Like, it's not something I've ever tried, but I do quite like it. They got shoes? No, just a lot of stuff, lapel pins, what the hell's that? They got a lot, which is a red flag for me sometimes, because it's just too much stuff. Deals, linen shirts, too far. And there's loads of deals going on. Yeah, okay, I think we've seen an, kind of enough of it. Um, I think my initial concerns uh, previously were just purely because of the styling of the photography, which is prevalent when you look at the About Us section. We'll go back to that. Yeah, well, you can see with the About Us section, but I think this must be old photos, and because the rest of the the lookbooks and stuff look like they've upped their games quite a lot. There's still a little element of things that aren't to my personal taste, but uh, clothing-wise, style-wise, I like a lot of stuff. I'd wear 80% of the stuff that's in there, to be honest. Uh, I like it's just super simple. If you're looking to build like a capsule wardrobe, this would be quite a good option. Uh, and you know, on a budget having these options is really important if you're trying to get into menswear and you know you can't buy from like drakes or something like that this is really important so um i'm yeah i'm i'm, I'm really impressed with it uh, but yeah anyway guys let me know what you think uh, in the comments below have you bought anything from here what's your um what's your thoughts how have they lasted sort of like long term um let me know in the comments below please check out our store archimus.com for pre-owned menswear and uh, vintage watches if you're interested or in uh, styling or style consultancy i offer anything from one-on-ones for an hour session to a full wardrobe overhaul so yeah if you're interested in that uh, i'll put a link in the description but yeah check out the store archonwoods.com hello at archonwoods if you have any questions about anything please remember to like and subscribe and i look forward to hearing from you soon cheers